It's the Eastern Conference on display, featuring the Boston Celtics. Welcome to the NBA for this Friday afternoon broadcast. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Tonight, a matchup between two great teams. Certainly potential playoff ramifications down the road. Brent, what extra importance does this game have, do you think, if any? Well, sometimes, Kevin, in, in matchups like this, coaches aren't concerned with what it is that they know. They'd like to get to the unknown. So there may be some rotations that we'll see tonight that are a bit different than what we saw in matchups in the past for coaches to expose their players to that opponent and their style of play. That could pay dividends if they do match up come playoff time. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court right now for the Celtics. Morris is the four with Horford in the middle. Smart is out there with Irving, and it's Hayward in at the three. Now, here is Irving after LeBron James's miss. Irving against Smith, down low, and Thompson sends it back. Well, Thompson lives in the paint, and defensively, occasionally, you're going to get to shots like that. Yeah, a bad shot there. Trust is lacking. you, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yeah, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. Now, here is Irving after LeBron James's miss. Horford's shot is good. In this day and age of stretch fours and fives, you can't forget about Horford on the perimeter. Burns them from that distance. And when Marcus Morris gets a defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation, Greg, he feels the most at home. And part of that might be from going up against his twin brother all the time when they were young. Marcus Morris has a great knack to find a shot he likes. Terrific with his mid-range. And he gets it to go. <laughs> He really takes off, just never looks back. Yeah, by the time anyone even thinks of chasing him, he's gone. Now, here's Thomas. That's a pick by Love. The feed to James. Six to shoot. That's in there. Love with the assist. LeBron James consistent there from the mid-range when he's in a good rhythm and the ball just rolls off his fingertips. You feel pretty good about it. Irving for three. And again, Boston with the triple. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. 
The defense was in the area, but not really effective. He has to put away this layup. Smart kicks to Irving. And the Celtics hit again from deep. When you make shots like that, Kevin, Kyrie is showing just how confident he is in his offensive ability. Thomas passes to LeBron. Love with a wide open look. Hits it from three point range. A little tit for tat action going on on the back to back trade. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. Now, Smart, from deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. And so it's the Boston Celtics. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even kill. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can and live with the results. Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. He is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career. Nothing rattles him. Nothing throws him off his game. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you stance-wise? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Ah, the new era of NBA basketball playing outside in. We'll see if they can take advantage of that moving forward. Come on, Shepard is out there with Jay Crow. Then there's Kevin Love. Then there's Kyle Quirk. And it's Rose in at the point guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Now here's Crowder. And Baines pulls it down. Like the tactics on defense there, refusing to give the shooter the easy layup at the rim. And the Celtics franchise with the league leading 17 NBA championships, their last in 2008. Yeah, and with the talent and assets they possess, uh, they might be in the hunt for banner number 18 before you know it. One of the beasts of the East, without question. Now here's Rose looking for his first basket still in this one. Second shot opportunity, so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And Kevin Love is a tough matchup because inside he just, he doesn't give up on the glass. He's very good at predicting where those misses are coming to and gets his body in great position. Kevin Love such a versatile offensive player who can pass, who can shoot with range. I like him looking to score inside to get himself going, and that's the way that the offense has tended to go. Two First shots. quarter seems to belong Two to shots. Kevin Love. And he makes the first. And you can't defend Kevin Love with smaller players. He can take him down on the block. Well, he can back them up a little bit, Kevin. Then go to either hand. Use the right, use the left, and shoot the jump hook over the top. And then sometimes if he slows himself down, has a great pump fake to draw in the contact. Both three throws, good from Love. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. Here's Rozier. He's covered by Rhodes. And the basket by Rozier. Rozier's got his first points of the night. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. 13 feet away. Rose can't get that one to fall. I just like to see the defensive effort get better for their ball club. They can't expect guys to miss the mid-range Jays every time. Morris a screen. 
It's Brown with the drive. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Rose. That's in there. Love with the assist. And Derrick Rose so quick out of the gates. When he sees open floor ahead, he's at full sprint in the blink of an eye. Rozier kicks to Tatum. Goes back up. Baines. Great tee that time from Love. The Cavaliers trail by seven. If they play it right, we're talking a two for one. Yeah, this is where it comes down to really good clock management, and you want to maximize each of your possessions. They're going to have to come up with a better matchup. This guy just too much speed. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Rozier kicks to Baines. Here's Brown, and finished off by Brown. And love seeing Brown drop the hammer. Just an amazing dunker who really bashes it in the basket. Now here's Rhodes. They set the screen. Love outside. No good from outside. And the first half is now in the books. Celtics lead by seven. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Duran, what problems are you seeing out there? Just be able to make shots. We just gotta be lacking. We gotta keep playing. Thanks for your time, Duran. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Hey, everybody, show. Ernie Johnson joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. You been working out. Boston had no problems getting going. Some major league offense and defense in the mix as they raced out to an 11-2 lead. And it was a nine-point lead for them as they finished the first quarter. Second quarter, not quite as good, but still managed to maintain control and enjoy a seven-point advantage at the break. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? Well, they're getting higher percentage looks, good game planning, the ball is moving around. Guys aren't pulling the trigger at the first thing they see. They are definitely staying disciplined. That's a big part of what has them having the lead at the halftime. Kenny, let's get your insight on Cleveland. Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stagnant. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. And that will conclude our halftime presentation. We take you back to Kevin Harlan for the second half. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Kevin Love really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. Yeah, those extra possessions, considering how hard it can be sometimes to find offense, become invaluable. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. Well, we all know, Brent, you grew up in a real basketball environment. What affected watching your dad and competing against your brothers and being in that conversation at the dinner table have on the development of your playing style? Well, I think first and foremost, what comes to mind, Kevin, is just competing. And it wasn't just competing at basketball. It was <laughs> wiffle ball in the backyard, soccer in the fall, baseball in the spring, uh, Monopoly during the weekends. So anything we could get our hands on <laughs> that had to do with the game, yeah, it was about that competition. And what do you do now in retirement? Is there, what, what do you find to, to, to stimulate the competitive side? Well, I beat my kids in Monopoly, I can tell you that. <laughs> On the floor for Boston. Hayward outside at the three with Morris to his side at the four. Irving is out there with Smart. And it's Horford in at the center filling out the middle. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Guys, the league may have never seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. He even has a stake in a player agent business. The 
LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question about it, David. He's well on his way. As important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. And they're one of four here to start the second half. James dishes to Smith. He kicks to Thomas. It's a pick by Love. Back to Smith. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Thompson with the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Irving kicks to Hayward. Smart with the ball, working on Smith. 13 feet away and misses it off the right side of the rim. Irving against Thomas. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. A different look now for Cleveland. Crowder comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Rose in for J.R. Smith. Celtics also with a sub. Tatum's checked in. There's 45 seconds left here in the third quarter. Rose passes to LeBron. Thomas, it's a wide open look. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And here's Smart. Hayward on the wing. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Hayward's got his second basket. This guy is so tough to guard. He feels like he could take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at him. LeBron dishes to Thomas. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Thompson sets the pick for Thomas. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Irving against Rose. Here's Irving. Horford. And it's Horford with the extra effort. Horford's got the lead up to nine now for Boston. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Celtics up by nine. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Hey, defense at the start of the quarter and the end of the quarter has been really good. Okay, it's been really good. Offensively, let's just keep moving that thing. As calm as he can be, Brad Stevens did have one specific message. Don't hold the basketball, guys. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing that will kill your offense. If you don't have a good look, move the ball. Maybe someone else does. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Corver and LeBron are the wings. Jake Crowder out there with Thompson. And it's Rose in at the point guard. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's now six points for LeBron. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off the six. Irving with the ball. to the wing smart wide open he fired there's the basket and make it a double digit lead and that play developed all because of the firm hard screen set by Horford he allows his teammate to get a clean look at the basket there and the Cavaliers call time here yeah you know some of it's shot selection some just bad luck and they just can't get anything going you know, coming out of the timeout let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in Marcus Morris has checked in for Boston and keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. J.R. Smith's checked in for Cleveland.
60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Rose kicks to LeBron. Over Hayward. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from LeBron. This has been proven. It's a scientific fact, Kevin. It's hard to stop LeBron James from scoring. Outside Irving. Stolen by Rose. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. LeBron James on the wing. Back to Smith. Rose passes to Smith. The screen from Thompson. Six to shoot. Off target from the baseline. And the defense is just not very aggressive. Definitely fortunate that the mid-range jumper did not find the bottom of the net that time. Hayward outside. Back to Irving. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Celtics. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Al Horford. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. And here's Smart after J.R. Smith getting his three to go. A shot off that time. Rose with some nice deep. And unfortunately, it's time for them to say night, night. Well, you'd like to have a rewind button and get a couple plays back, but impossible at this point. Need better execution at times. Free throw, no good for LeBron. Well, still, Kevin, sitting here courtside with you in that fine suit, it gets me excited that I have another chance to watch one of the greatest players to play in the NBA. LeBron James continues to dominate. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and now they decide to foul intentionally. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Kyrie Irving assured of anything that he does out there offensively. Always in control. Doesn't rush all that much. And very good at running the offense. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're down by eight. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Al Horford. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Outside Irving. Now Hayward. So we see Boston get the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Gordon, nice win for you guys tonight. What was the difference? Energy. I think we play with a lot of energy, passion, especially defensively. You know, when we're all doing our job and we're playing and we're focused and we're solid defensively, we're not really having lapses, we can be a pretty good team. You know, that we don't have to walk the ball up the court and it's not as difficult on our offense. So it all starts defensively and I think it all starts with energy down there. 
You've become one of the best young defensive teams in the league, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.